the global climate is changing. How do we know? Because for over a century, meteorological stations have kept careful records of their weather observations. Until recently, they relied on pen and paper. Today, observations are automated and stored on supercomputers. They are combined with data from satellites and other high-tech instruments to produce forecasts. But long-term continuous observations from thermometers, rain gauges, and other traditional instruments remain essential. Without them, we could not be certain that the Earth has warmed by around one degree Celsius over the past century. But today, many of these historical records are at risk. Some measuring sites have been shut due to budget cuts. Others have been moved to a different location, and this makes long-term comparisons difficult. When an old observing station is closed, scientists lose an irreplaceable piece of the climate puzzle. These very long-term measurements, uh, like this one, which is extending uh, back to 18th century, they are highly valuable for for, for understanding what has been this natural uh, climate variability. These measurements are highly important. Uh, they, are the, they are the backbone of both uh, weather forecasting and, and they are also the backbone of, uh, of climate uh, science, atmospheric sciences. And, and it's highly important that we ensure the long-term sustainability of, uh, of these measurements. Stations, with 100 years or more of continuous measurements, can tell a unique story about our recent climate history. This is why the World Meteorological Organization is inviting governments to nominate such stations for formal recognition as centennial observing stations. On top of their scientific value, many centennial observing stations are also of outstanding historical and cultural interest. They recall a previous era and the birth of modern meteorology. The Moncalieri Observatory, outside Turin, Italy, has a long and uninterrupted record of measurements. Moncalieri was established in 1859. Luca Mercalli is the president of the Italian Meteorological Society. In questo osservatorio, Francesco Denza fondò la Società Meteorologica Italiana e guidò la nascita della prima rete nazionale di stazioni meteorologiche dalle Alpi alla Sicilia. Alcuni strumenti non sono più in servizio, ma raccontano la storia della meteorologia. Questo anemoietografo, costruito nella seconda metà dell'Ottocento, misurava vento e precipitazioni. È uno dei pochi esemplari ancora esistenti. Questa è la capannina meteorologica di Stevenson. Qui sono ospitati i sensori di temperatura e umidità che operano nelle stesse condizioni di oltre un secolo fa per mantenere la confrontabilità della serie storica. Sono regolarmente tarati con l'Istituto Nazionale di Metrologia e il progetto Meteomet. The UN Climate Change Convention recognizes that climate policy must be based on sound climate science. Climate science, in turn, depends on robust observations. Centennial observing stations are therefore a vital resource for current and future generations. Governments have uh, adopted the Paris uh, Agreement, which is, which is very good news for the atmosphere. But we have to also follow what is happening in atmosphere based on these measurements. And WMO and its members are happy to provide this information for, for decision makers. <laughs>